Okay, after the 15th time of trying to record a video for y'all, which is no issue. Um, this is James, by the way, from uh, sunny Southern California, where it is hotter than hot today. Uh, I'm going to try to show you how to download, install, configure, and compile your first piece of Java software. Um, right here, when you go to the discussion threads, go to the main, look for the important software required for this class and click it. There's a link here uh, uh, for the JDK 7. Click that. It'll take you to another website. Right here you'll see Java Platform JDK version 7 update 5. Go ahead and click on that. You'll scroll down all the way to the bottom, well midway through the page you'll see the development kit that's the one you want okay you want to look for the x86 windows uh, unless you have a 64-bit machine uh, you really want to stick with the x86 which is 32-bit or lower I uh, don't believe there's any 16-bit machines left out there anymore go ahead and click and follow the instructions on the installation making sure you accept the license otherwise they won't let you go anywhere I believe basically all the license says is if the machine blows up, it's not their responsibility, but they would like to hear about it. After all said and done, you downloaded it, installed it. Make sure you keep in mind where the path is, and in order to find that, uh, we want to go to the computer. It's typically in your program files unless you've changed the path. Okay, so you want to double click on your C drive. You want to go to program files. You want to scroll down and look for Java, and it should be in your program files. Double click on that. Okay, and yes, I've got multiple versions because I had the same issues you all had. I'm looking for the version 7. We're not worried about these, I don't care about them. I know he said not to download the JRE, but I was confused at first too as well. Go ahead and double click on the JDK. Okay. You want to look for the word bin, B I N. Double click on it. And what the videos that I've posted were saying was actually right click. And the reason he said just any file is because all we want is the location. Uh, the toolbar up here doesn't give us a good location for our path. So once we get the location, all we want to do is highlight right click and copy simple enough nothing hard go ahead and get out of out of there go up to my computer which is underneath the folders on the left hand side of the screen right click and go to properties one more time you'll come up with another screen like this or something similar to it go to advanced system settings Okay, it's going to ask me for permission, you know, Microsoft trying to be like Linux or Unix. Uh, you want systems properties up and you want environment variables. Uh, the videos that I sent you told, said to add a path up here, but it's not necessary. Okay, uh, I went down to system variables, which works well for me. And I scrolled down to where I saw the word path under variable. Okay, go ahead and edit. You'll get a box like this. Okay, this is important. Okay, since you have multiple paths within the uh, system variables, you want to add a semicolon. Okay, and then you want to right click and paste. Okay. That'll give you your path. So no matter where you are inside your computer, while in DOS mode or the command mode, uh, Java should come up no problem. I'm going to hit cancel on this because I've already done this. You should be hitting OK at this point all the way through to get out of the screen. Okay. At this point, you can close it. You can close this as well. Okay, we don't need it. We want to go now to the start button. We want to type in, there's two different commands you can use, okay? One's a 32-bit and one's a 16-bit. If you type in the word command, okay, 
I think I spelled that right. Yes, you'll come up with a 16-bit version of the command prompt, which I don't like using. I actually use the 32-bit version of CMD. It'll come up with a window similar to it. I just don't like using the other command because it doesn't take long file names into consideration. At this point, we're just going to want to type in the word Java. Okay, We should get a screen that looks similar to this. It'll have a whole bunch of variables that you can put into your Java command, which at this point we're not going to use. Uh, this is only for testing purposes only. So once you have that done, you can start uh, editing and making your first Java. And the next video I'm going to put up will show you how to do that.